Welcome to a code report algorithm video. In this video, we'll be covering three algorithms from the STL algorithm library, std all of, std any of, and std none of. So all three of these algorithms are very simple and easy to understand. This video is just gonna be a short video, bringing it to uh, the attention of some people that might not know of them. So std all of, this is an algorithm with linear time complexity, big O of n, in the distance between first and last, which returns true if all of the elements in this range return true for the unary predicate. So note this function takes three parameters, the first and last, which are both input iterators, and a unary predicate, and this uh, algorithm returns a Boolean. So the return value and the three uh, parameters will be the same for each of these three functions std any any of is the exact same the only difference being that it returns true if at least one of the elements in this range returns true for the unary predicate and std none of as i'm sure you can guess will return true if none of the elements in this range return true for the unary predicate so let's take a look at a simple example so here we have a vector of strings cat dog and one two three and we have a simple range based for loop uh, and in that for loop we are going to call all of on each of the strings in our vector and the predicate that we're going to pass to it is digit so we're calling all of on the full string with is digit as the predicate so if this returns true we're going to output not and if it returns false uh, due to the fact that one of the characters in the string is not a digit then it will just output uh, nothing and so this code will output the following cat is not a number dog is not a number but one two three is a number so pretty straightforward and this is how you would use uh, any of the three functions so all of any of or none of so one other example to look at, and this is something that you find in code bases a lot of the time. Uh, you'll have some data structure, and then you want to check something uh, for that data structure. So you'll declare this Boolean outside of a for loop. Uh, so we're calling ours none even. So we're trying to check that none of the integers in our vector are even. So we're initializing this to true, assuming that they are. Then we have a, a raw for loop. We're checking that each of, uh, if each of the items is even, and if one of the uh, integers is even, we're gonna set our Boolean to false and then break out of our for loop. So uh, this you see a lot, but this is a classic example of when we should be using an algorithm. So don't do this. What you should be doing is this. So you have your data structure still, you declare a lambda or maybe you already have a predicate that you can use and uh, then you just declare your boolean none none even equals uh, and then call whichever function that you need to use so for our case obviously we want to use none of and the is even uh, lambda uh, so this is uh, echoing what sean parent has said in uh, some a lot of his uh, videos online is that whenever you see a raw for loop you should be thinking what algorithm from the algorithm library should I be using. As always if you enjoyed this video hit that like button make sure to follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contest start. You can find all of the code that I use in my videos on my github page all of the links are in the description down below and finally if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my upcoming videos make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.